School consolidations, rebuilds, and a possible bond issue, it's all part of the first step in Wichita Public Schools Facilities Master Plan. A draft of those plans presented to Wichita's Board of Education tonight. Brandon Stitt talked with district leaders today and is live with the details of that plan. Brandon. That's right, Rachel. That district draft plan of the master plan is actually still being presented to district board members as I speak right now. The district leadership wants to consolidate nine schools and two administrative buildings and talks of a $450 million bond issue. Now, I talked with the superintendent of the school district this afternoon just ahead of this meeting, and here's some of what he has to say about that plan. I'm excited to talk about it. The superintendent of Kansas's largest school district, Kelly Bielefield, laid out plans for the future of Wichita's public schools. Step one is investing in our kids, getting this exciting, robust plan on the table, um, hopefully seeing it through, uh, and then showing everybody this works. Presented as a draft to Wichita school board members, step one of the facility's master plan involves 25 of the district's buildings including school consolidations and rebuilds. Is to rebuild eight school facilities, um, to consolidate four elementary schools, five alternative school locations and two administrative centers. School rebuilds and renovations will also be part of the plan to accommodate the consolidations. The final plans of what consolidations will look like have yet to be decided, but students will likely attend one of those new schools closest to them. As part of the first step, the board will also hear about the possibility of a bond issue the first for Wichita since 2008. The Board of Education could consider a $450 million bond issue that would not raise taxes. And those plans will be made available on the school district's website tomorrow. It will also accompany a survey. The district wants to hear from you, so make sure you get on and fill that out. It's a hope that the first step plans will be voted on on June 27th when it comes back to the school board. Rachel. Brandon, thank you. We're also following the future plans for Wichita's Park Elementary. The plan is for the school to become Wichita's next emergency homeless shelter. A BOE vote will allow the school to potentially be sold to the city for just $1 and be converted to a multi-agency center. Park Elementary is one of six schools the district chose to close this year to help recover from a $42 million budget shortfall. Tonight we did hear from Wichita Public School Superintendent about the future of the other closed schools. What, what do we want that to look like? What, what could we do with it? Do we want to sell it? Do we want to invest in it? Do we want to you know, do something else with those properties? So um, we're going to be looking for community support or community engagement on that, but not quite yet. If the vote goes as the city plans, they say the building will be ready to use as a 2024-2025 winter emergency shelter and could be ready for full service by 2026.